GameStop has done a lot of questionable and shady things in the past, but this one truly takes the cake. Hey guys, remember I'm 20 back again. And as you guys all know, we're going through some troubling times right now. A lot of places are being shut down, including bars, restaurants, events are being canceled. Heck, if you watch pro wrestling on TV right now, there's an empty audience. It's just downright ridiculous. I can't even watch wrestling anymore because there's no audience and it just looks ridiculous to be completely honest. You can't go to movie theaters. The whole world seems like it's shutting down right now, except, except for GameStop. I, I can't believe what I'm reading. Guys, I'm gonna read this to you because you kind of truly got to see this to believe it. Now, GameStop has done a lot of questionable things in the past. I mean, we all know their shady business practices, the way they treat their employees, the way they treat their customers, yada, yada, yada. I could be here all day talking about how much I dislike GameStop. I don't think it's no secret that I'm not a big fan of GameStop. This one really does push the limits. You guys all know we're going through this huge pandemic right now. A lot of businesses are being forced to close and GameStop is claiming they're essential business and they are refusing to close. Now I'm just going to go ahead and read this article to you. It says the struggling video game retail chain GameStop told all of its stores this afternoon to stay open. Even the event of a state or city lockdowns to protect it against the pandemic and phasing that is essential retail alongside groceries and pharmacies and should therefore be exempt for enforced <laughs> enclosures. Guys, GameStop, you sell video games and t-shirts, okay? You are not essential retail, okay? I, I work in the grocery department, okay? I work in the grocery business. People need to eat. Heck, people right now are going out and panic buying everything. It's ridiculous, the amount of food. Matter of fact, guys, please slow down on buying the food, okay? I'm getting enough overtime as it is, okay? Enough buying the food. You know how everyone's on lockdown right now? Everyone's like pretty much getting like quarantine? No, I got mandatory overtime because I'm in the grocery business because we're essential retail. People need to eat, especially right now since everyone's pretty much staying home and they really can't go out to eat. So I'm getting a lot of hours. GameStop. You sell video games. They're saying that they're essential retail, I guess because people have to work for home and I guess to give them something to do, they need video games? I don't know, let's continue to read. It says, due to the products we carry that enable and enhance our customers' experience in working from home, we believe GameStop is classified as essential retail and therefore is able to remain open <laughs> during this time, the retailer said. Now, <laughs> I just, I, I when the CEO or whoever's in charge of this was typing this out, sending out these e these memos, how can you do it with a straight face? I mean, to say to put to put GameStop in the same sentences as a pharmacy and grocery stores makes me sick, dude. I'm sorry. I'm a gamer. I love video games, but let's face it, dude. You can go anywhere and get games. Walmart stays open because they got groceries and they got games. People can just get their games from Walmart if they still want to go get a physical copy. We live in a digital world now too. Trust me, I'm not a huge digital guy, but you can download your games right now. There's a pandemic going on right now. People should be staying home, download your games for, for a few months. You don't need to go out and get a, a physical copy. There's Amazon, have it shipped to your house. GameStop, you're not essential business. It, it makes zero sense. It says we have received re reports of local authorities visiting stores in an attempt to in enforce closure despite our classification. They think GameStop thinks they're classified as essential retail and they're actually making the employees hand out these letters. If law enforcement shows up and tries to close them down, they want to hand these law enforcement officers letters saying, contact the corporate office. Sorry, we're essential retail, yada, yada, yada. What makes matters worse is there's been several reports from employees saying that the company is making them buy their own hand sanitizers and, and their own disinfectants, wipes and stuff like that. The company's not even providing san you know, sanitizer for these guys. I mean, I, I just don't get it. I mean, I... <sighs> Guys, I could be on here ranting for days, but um, this is a, a topic that's really hitting home to me because I have to, I have to work to provide for my family. I have, to, I work in the grocery business. There's no getting out of work for me. Trust me, I wish I could stay home. You know, obviously, staying home doesn't pay the bills though. But GameStop, I'm sorry, you're not essential retail. Obviously, you're a failing business as it is. You're on your way out the door. 
And Reggie's not going to save you. I'm sorry. He's not. And um, you should really be closing your doors right now. Close your doors for a few months, GameStop. You're not essential retail. That's pretty much all for right now, guys. Leave a comment below. Let me know what do you think of this, this stupidity of GameStop. That's pretty much all for right now. And as always, there'll be more to come shortly. Thanks again.